beautifying the gateway to Venice. New plantings, a long overdue cleanup. <laughs> Residents pleased because it replaces all of this, a large and growing encampment that made people feel unsafe. I'm actually very relieved and happy that this is being removed, but they also need to be housed. I'm glad that they're going to be relocated and maybe start better and fresh. That's the plan. As the cleanup began, the city says it's relocated about 35 people, most into motels, others into private homes with available rooms through a program called SHARE, run by Brian Ulf under a contract with the local council district. There's no, re there's no real estate costs whatsoever because the homes are already there and the, and the people that we bring into those homes have income to do it. It wasn't perfect, it never is. Still here in this tent, a homeless man who says he's waiting on new ID. I've been trying to get in contact with my friends, family, and everything like that. A couple of people out here are friends, but other than that, nothing really. What this is not is part of new L.A. Mayor Karen Bass's widely publicized Inside Safe program. I've got to do that. I have to move those things through in my district. Councilwoman Tracy Park says this had been planned for months, but yes, the city has its own overall ideas. Meantime, each council district can and should take action on its own. Potentially confusing, but does it matter that there's not a citywide integrated cohesive response? Yeah, and I think that's a really good question. You know, it, one of the things that we are wrangling as a city, as a county, as a region is a coordinated strategy and approach.